Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. This is what we have in store for you for this October 23rd, 2012 edition. Tonight, Mitt Romney's son buys Ohio voting machines in a direct conflict of interest just weeks before the presidential election. Meanwhile, Obamanites continue threats to riot should Obama fail to secure a second term. Then, an Obamacare mandate revealed anyone who works 30 hours a week is now considered full-time. Plus, evidence that the corrupt Portland City Council secretly met with fluoride lobbyists before voting to poison Oregon's water. That's coming up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Welcome back. Top story headline, Obama supporters continue threats to riot, assassinate Romney. Now you can see we're top linked right there on Drudge, another continuation of the stories we've been bringing you over the past few weeks. If we can get right down to the, uh, to the meat, to the Twitter feeds. All right, the meat and potatoes here. Why can't someone just assassinate Romney? If Romney becomes president, I swear somebody will go assassinate his behind. And these are definitely explicit content. Let's see, if Romney wins, I'm going to assassinate his. Ah, okay, well, Romney, I'm going to effing assassinate you. And it goes on from there. Just some more of the same that we've seen over the past few weeks, uh, rampant threats against Romney. We've also posted some in the past of threats against Obama, and I guess those were taken seriously. But when you have someone like uh, Mitt Romney, who's not the presidential candidate, nobody seems to care. And definitely, I, I, I'm sure most of these are just... People just with too much free time on their hands who make Twitter comments about stupid things. But like I said, if one out of 1,000 of these are real comments or, or excuse me, real threats, I mean, this is something that should be taken seriously. So we'll give you more news on that as it develops. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.